Hey guys, this is Subhash Mishra, your test coach. Today we will learn a Java program to reverse each word of a string. So here you can see one string, string s equal to go to school. So after reverse of each word in this string, what we will get? We will get o g, o t and l o o h c s. So what we are doing here? We are doing reverse of each word. So here there are three words, go, to and school. So we are reversing go, we are reversing to and we are reversing school. So finally we are getting this result. So we will learn a Java program where we will reverse each word of this string, right? So let's go to our Eclipse. I will create a new class and we will name it as uh, reverse each word in a string, okay? Fine, public static void main. Okay, here first thing what we'll do, we'll take a string. Okay, so string, for example, I'll give input string. Okay, so this is the string which we are giving go to school. Okay, fine. Then what we'll do, we will take one array of string right because we want to split all these words right how many words we have we will split this so to do that we will take one array of string and we will name it as words okay is equal to how we will do that we have this input string right we will take that input string then we will use one inbuilt method input string dot split you can use this inbuilt method okay and here what you can give you can give space so where you will find a space it will split into words okay then we'll take another variable and we'll name it as reverse string okay and we will assign null to it or we'll keep it empty okay fine now what we will do we will write a for loop for ok then what we will say int i equal to 0 then i is less than this array right array length so what's dot length ok then what we will tell i plus plus ok so inside this for loop what we will do? We will find, I will take one more uh, variable and we will name it as word. So this is words, okay. This is word which is equal to what we will do here string word equal to. So whatever words we have array and we will take the i value, we will assign to it. Fine then we will take another variable so here we have taken reverse string here we will take reverse word okay and again we will assign empty uh, null to it right so we will keep it as string reverse word okay then we will write one more for loop okay so here what you can write int j is equal to okay here what you can do word so again this word is a string so word dot length length function okay minus one okay and you can say j is greater than equal to zero and j minus minus don't worry for now i will explain you everything how we are reaching in this step and how why we are writing all these things okay then what you can say reverse word okay it's equal to reverse word plus word dot caret j okay so now we got reverse word Finally, what we need to get? We need to get the reverse 
string right so we can say reverse string is equal to reverse string plus what we will do here reverse word and after each word we need to add some space okay fine then finally you do a sysout sysout of what reverse string right reverse string reverse string each plus reverse string okay let me execute it okay so we got the result it is doing reverse so let's understand how it is happening right so that is important so what we did here first we have taken one string this is the input you can take any other string also right so this is our string go to school and uh, this is input string is the variable type is string and this is the value okay then we have taken one array and uh, in this array we are telling it is words type is string okay then we are telling it is words the variable name is words then what we are doing here input string whatever input string we have right we are splitting it when there is a space so what we will get here we will get go to school so it will look something like this okay go then to then school okay so in the words array the first value will be go second is two then third is school then we are taking one more variable reverse string type is string and there is nothing we have not assigned anything to it it is empty now the string is empty so for int i equal to 0 i is less than words dot length so what is the words dot length the length is 3 here we know right so 0 is less than 3 and i plus plus okay then what we are doing here string word equal to words of i so in the we are taking another variable as word and in the word what we are assigning words of i so words of i means what it is there is 0 i value is 0 right so we got word as go right so we got word as go then we are taking another variable string reverse word and what we are doing we are it is empty again the string is empty and we are writing one more loop for int j equal to word dot length so what is in the word word it is go right so what is the length here 2 so 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 so we are telling in j equal to word dot length minus 1 which is 1 and 1 is greater than equal to 0 which is fine and 1 minus minus sorry j minus minus right and then what we are doing here reverse word equal to reverse word so we are telling reverse of word is equal to reverse of word which is empty plus word dot character at j so what is the word value now word value is equal to go so go character at j so in j what it is there we know it is 0 and it is 1 right so and i sorry j value is equal to 1 now so what we got we got as o okay again the loop will go up and what we will get j minus minus right so the value earlier the value is equal to 1 j value is equal to 1 now the j value is equal to 0 so 0 is greater than equal to 0 condition is matching again will come down so what will get reverse word equal to reverse word so now reverse word is equal to o right so o plus word at character at j so what in the j j is value is equal to 0 now so right in the 0 value what it is there g there so what will get output will get as o and g okay so now you got how we got o and g so reverse word is equal to o g so what we got here reverse string equal to reverse string reverse string which is empty plus reverse word reverse word is o g so finally what we got we got o and g right then the loop will go up okay now i value will be 1 right 
so one is less than words dot length the length we know is 3 okay then string of word is equal to words of i so i will is equal to 1 so what will be the word now the word will be 2 now because it will take this value right because it is 0 1 2 so when the word of i means 2 right then again the same thing will repeat right whatever happened for go so string reverse word equal to again we assign empty to it and here we are telling int j is equal to word dot length minus 1 so value is equal to 1 now 1 minus uh, so the length here is 2 so 2 minus 1 1 j is greater than equal to 0 1 is greater than is equal to 0 so condition is matching then we are telling reverse word is equal to reverse word plus so reverse word is empty again we have made it empty so uh, empty plus word dot so in word what we have now the word is 2 right dot caret j in the one value so here again we will get the value as o ok then we will go up and the j value will be 0 j is greater than equal to 0 condition is matching then reverse word is equal to reverse word which is o plus word dot character j so in the 0th position the value is t so we will get t right so what will happen here reverse string equal to reverse string so earlier the reverse string value is equal to og plus reverse word so what we got the reverse word and yeah uh, earlier the space will be added right so there will be a space already so og then space then we will get o t ok similarly the loop will go up and again the word school will get reversed and we will get the reverse value like this ok and finally here we are printing it so this is how you can reverse each word in a string ok thank you if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section i will try to explain it please like share and subscribe to my channel